Let's learn about skewness. What are we going to learn? We're going to learn what is skewness, how to remember right versus left skewness, and the implications of skewness on the mean and the median. So to start, these distributions are symmetric. Okay, uh, we can draw a line through the middle and they are mirror images of each other, right? That's what it means to be symmetric. And anything that is not symmetric is skewed. So these probability distributions are skewed. We can see that they are not symmetric. And distributions can be skewed to the right or skewed to the left. And sometimes people find these sort of hard to remember. So we're going to learn a little trick. Uh, these are also called positively skewed and negatively skewed, but we're going to use the term skewed right and skewed left. And we can remember which one is which by imagining putting a person in skis on top of the hill. And this is funny because ski sounds like skew. So we put a person with skis on the top of the hill, and this dude will ski to the right. This distribution is skewed right. And here we put a person on top of the hill, and they will ski to the left. This distribution is skewed left. All right, so we got skewed right, we got skewed left. We can also see skewness in box plots here, right? So we see when we have the long tail to the right, that is skewed right. When we have the long tail to the left, that is skewed left. I don't have a skiing analogy for the box plots. Just remember that the long tail is in the direction of the skewness. And lots of things are skewed right. Uh, this happens because many things have a lower bound at zero uh, with many high outliers. So things like income or housing prices uh, are typically skewed to the right, right? Most people are sort of average. And then we have some people who are high outliers. And many common probability distributions like the exponential distribution, gamma distribution, and chi-square distribution, along with many others, are right skewed. Not that many things are left skewed. Uh, the only one I can really think of is age at death, right? Most people die around 70, give or take, uh, and some people die young. Sorry for the depressing example. Skewness has an effect on the mean and the median. So in a symmetric distribution, the mean and the median are the same, right? So here we have a normal distribution, and this value is both the mean and the median. Means are affected by outliers, and medians are not. And this is going to help us remember how the mean and the median compare in skewed distributions. Okay, because being skewed is kind of like having little teeny bitty outliers, right? We have some tiny outliers here. So if this red line is the median, then the mean is going to be dragged upwards by these little tiny outliers, right? So the mean will be up here. So in a skewed right distribution, the mean is higher than the median. And in a skewed left distribution, the mean is lower than the median because the mean is dragged down by these little tiny outliers. So that's how we remember skewed right and skewed left by these people in skis. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to learn more statistics.